Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion, and if you're like me, then you're probably having problems keeping things organized in the back of your HDTV or your monitor. That is, of course, because a typical user now has probably plenty of sources. You have your DVD player, you have to hook that up, you have your PS3, you have maybe your games console, your uh, cable box, your HDPC, or whatever, your, uh, whatever you want to connect there, maybe an external device through an HDMI or a component. Some users still use a component that has three connectors, so it can get messy back there. But if you want to keep things organized, fortunately, Rosewell just released their ultra slim line of HDMI cables. And as you can see, they are quite slim. From the distance, they appear to be USB cables, but if you look closely, they are indeed HDMI cables. These come in, uh, I believe they come in three, six, 10, and 15 feet versions. And they also come in two colors. You have the white, and the black HDMI cables. But one thing they have in common is that they are quite compact and they actually use 36 AWG wires so they are much thinner than a typical HDMI cable. And the only difference is that you have to connect these one way and in fact they're labeled there as you can see which one goes to source and which one goes to the TV end. So what you do now is just open these up and test it out and see how well it performs. All right, here I have the 15 feet uh, ultra slim HDMI cable from Roseville. Let's see, open it up and take a closer look at uh, what's inside each package. It's pretty much in each package you get these A type connectors in each end, but Roseville also provides a C type and a D type, and each of them will have a label that says source and a larger one that ha that connects to your display. Since a uh, a red mirror chip is inside that allows that technology. See that's why the uh, TV end is bigger. And I'm gonna open one up uh, so we can take a even closer look since uh, there's not much to talk about when it's just a cable. I'm gonna show you what is the chip. I wanna find out. I'm curious as well. And uh, I'm gonna cut this part again because well can get messy once you start opening it up. All right, here I have uh, opened it up. I was surprised how tough the cover is. I tried hammering it and just propped it up with pliers. As you can see, it uh, it was it's still pretty much intact. Although I I already stripped out all the uh, shielding around it, so you can see the chip. And this chip is the I'm trying to see in there. My eyes are. It's uh, difficult to read, but it's uh, the RW or RM1695. Uh, okay, that makes it essentially. I know the first, uh, if I recall correctly, the first uh, module was the 1689. I've heard about it a few years ago. I think the first time I heard it was around nine, uh, 2007, and uh, that was the for generation these are the 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 this is closer to the 1692. So 1695 would probably be part of their. Uh, mini booster module family and uh, what uh, what these chips can do is that they can actually uh, they, they of course they support uh, the standard uh, 5 milliamp compliance uh, with the HDMI and I believe the bandwidth is around maximum would be 10.2 uh, uh, so they should be able to uh, they, have, they have separate data equalization has uh, for, for the uh, I mean for the uh, uh, for each channel, you have 3.4 uh, gigabits per second each of that, and it also supports uh, Ethernet. And let's see the back here, you have the also have your vision of the module there. Just a little info for the uh, for the manufacturer. And uh, as for the for those interested on in the actual dimensions of the uh, the connectors itself, let me just find the other end here. Uh, compared to standard HDMI, which is around uh, 24 millimeters by 18 millimeters thick, usually these are uh, Roseville HDMI cables. You see, they're quite flexible. You can even uh, do almost 90 degrees with them, so it's, uh, you can easily manage them. And uh, just on this source end, which is the small one, it's uh, about 14 millimeters by 15 millimeters. While the let me grab the uh, display connector again. Oh, Looks slightly different now. This is actually uh, fifth without the shielding. It's uh, but with with the shielding in there, it's uh, about 15 millimeters by 20 millimeters, just slightly longer than the standard uh, 
connector that we have here for the not the standard but rather the source connector on the other end so it's still a lot smaller compared to the typical HDMI connector. I'm going to grab a typical HDMI here just so you have a visual of what a typical HDMI connector looks like in size. See there? Let me grab the other one and that's intact so a much clearer view. And this one, it's, uh, it's, it can bend at 90 degrees, but as you can see, it is quite, quite stiff and uh, a lot less flex compared to the Roswell Ultra Slim cables. And that's pretty much it. Next step now is, of course, to test out the other cables I got. I got uh, more cable here. I'm going to test it out on a, uh, test it out on my PC, and maybe see if uh, if it still works with a. A connector. I'm going to try it out with a DVI connector if it works there. If there's no problem, I'm going to try it directly. I'm going to try it with my media player and report back to you with my conclusion. Testing the Roswell Ultra Slim HDMI cables is a lot simpler compared to testing it with my uh, previous reviews. Of course, all I need to do is put it in place where I would use a regular size HDMI cable, meaning I would plug it on to my uh, media player I put into my HDTV and also plugging it onto my video card I put into my monitor and both work perfectly fine I got the same frame rates I ran Lost Planet 2 benchmark and I got 75.6 the same uh, result with a regular HDMI cable and my regular uh, DVI cable even and also compared to the Roswell Ultra Slim HDMI cable also, I watched an entire movie twice, so of course, once with a red HDMI cable and a uh, HDMI with the Roswell cable, and there were no drop-offs in the picture. It was completely fine. You pause forward, no problems at all. And the good thing about it is that the price is also quite affordable right now. MSRP is $19.99 for the longest 15-foot uh, variant, but the lowest price, I think, $6.99 for the three-feet one. And uh, the best part is that it is actually even lower than that right now. At Newegg, it was $16.99 for the 15-foot version. So it's uh, it's even more enticing. And not many people are actually offering ultra-slim versions with their Redmi technology. So this uh, ultra-slim solution uh, from Roswell this definitely deserves an Editor's Choice Award. It is, the price is great. The, it, it works, it just plain works. The It is easy to manage. Um, I, I love actually this, that I'm, I'm gonna start using it on to my multiple devices because I hate having to wrangle my DVI connectors. I, I only need my DVI connectors when I am benchmarking or running a, uh, a video card review anyway, so I'm going to be running slim cables onto all my display. I'm actually gonna use it myself, so I don't think any, uh, I could recommend it any higher than that, so definitely the Roseville Ultra Slim HDMI cables deserve the High Tech Legion Editor's Choice Award. And also for users who are looking for a Type C or a Type D a mini and micro uh, versions, there are also going to be versions of those available um, with a regular full size HDMI cable to a uh, male Type C and a male Type D. So look out for those in your local stores if you are required. You require those. I, I, I definitely need one myself for a uh, to output from my Tegra tablet onto a bigger screen so I'm not, I, I love this product and uh, once again this is Ron signing out you can read the rest of the review by clicking down below subscribe for our uh, daily updates join our forum for membership perks such as giveaways and also leave us questions or comments and you can visit us at uh, Twitter uh, rather twitter.com slash high tech legion and also facebook.com slash hdl reviews this is Ron, signing out.